Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm To. And I'm Karen. And uh, we're representing Aquasheco Fish Spa. We're looking for 150k investment in return for 30% of equity. In June 2010, we opened our first venue. It was one of the first fish spas in London. And uh, we soon attracted a lot of customers. December 2010, we opened our Soho venue. And this is an illustration of uh, the facilities. A garden feature, fish pedicure hall, also a modern Japanese bar with fish manicure areas. Our first year turnover is um, a bit over um, 400,000. Um, the 150,000 investment will be used to open two more shops. The further expansion would um, um, establish our brand as well as to um, uh, broaden the uh, uh, customer base that we have. Um, please uh, feel free to try it. I'll try it, shall I? An orderly pitch from husband and wife team To Chan and Karen Ho. To expand their new beauty treatment brand, the couple are prepared to give away 30% equity, but need a £150,000 cash injection in return. Peter Jones is keen to put their claims to the test. Put one foot in. Yes. yes. Oh, what? They're all grabbing for me. That's weird. Yes. You've, so you've got some fish on the yeah, top of your feet. Bit, <laughs> after two minutes, you enjoy it so two much. Two minutes. You, you must do better than our lady customers who are fine after five seconds. Go on, what's it feel like? Honestly, it feels like they're tickling and they're sucking on me. It feels quite weird and it's starting to make me sweat very quickly. What fish are they? They're called Gara Rufa. So what are they doing? Can I just ask? They're eating part of my skin. Yes, your skin is protein to them. They're gently sucking away on your feet. I usually describe to customers as a thousand kisses. Have you not fed these fish for ages? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, They were fed yesterday with, uh, by a few customers. How long does it take for them to clean these feet? For um, the optimal effect, it's around 25 minutes per session. I will say that I do feel very different than when I first went in. It is quite strangely, weirdly cleansing. One successful demonstration and one dragon convert. Did you just feel your feet? Are they softer? I can feel that they're soft immediately. Amazingly soft. But now spa and health club owner Duncan Bannertine wants to focus on the business itself. Karen and To. Yes. So in year one, your turnover was £400,000. Yep. Right. What was your gross profit? About uh, 100 and. 180 something. What was your net profit? Uh, 100 and uh, about 112. That sounds a really big profit margin mm. in this industry. Now, is that growing in a month by month basis? Or do you have blips when it goes up, when it comes down? There would be, of, of course, blips. Yeah. But then what, what is important is that we are seeing people saying that it's great, we'll come back, or it's great we we'll recommend to friends and that people start using our loyalty cards. So are you the only people doing this in the UK? We are not the only people in the UK, no. So are people doing it as well? There are other people, yes. Yeah, how many competitors have we got? It's not, it's not that important to count who the competitors are. It's more important to decide in this new market how we're going to play three years down the line. Assured and reasoned responses from the confident entrepreneurs. Theo Pafitis looks intrigued. Uh, so, so, so this is something you just decided to do? Yes. We went to Macau and there was um, a hotel in Macau and they had a fish bar there. Uh, we tried it. It was amazing. We came back and uh, we quit our jobs and we started this. And we think business is fun. We really like business. What's your background? We studied in the University of Oxford, both in science degrees. What degree did you get? First class honour, Gibbs Prize. Karen? Uh, Merton College, Oxford, and I did physics. And what did you do after that? Uh, I went to Lehman Brothers to become a quantitative trader. You went to Lehman Brothers? Yes. Uh, strategy consultant for uh, one of those consulting firms in London. Magnificent. 
The impressive duo may be garnering praise from the Dragons, but it's their £150,000 Toe and Karen really need. Will Hilary DeVay find a reason to invest? Is your vision to continue opening shops or is your vision to sell this product to existing spas? I mean, I go in nail bars and the turnover is phenomenal in such a small place. I've actually sat there and calculated their profit whilst I've been having my nails done. Now, I could imagine that product going in to a salon type operation like that and that would make that salon more profitable. So is that element part of your business plan? We cultivate our brand very carefully. We will not open too many. We will not spread it everywhere. Maybe one capital, we'll only have a few. But we are prepared to expand overseas if need be. Uh, explain your logic there. It is most important for us to make sure our brand is good. If uh, an independent spa decides to cut on their cost, then we have, we have very little control. And once the damage is done, it's done. I, I, I'm sorry, but I do disagree, because I'm all about growth and profit. Mm. Um, you know, yes, I'm very brand conscious, but I think there's ways you can do it without brand denigration. So I think your whole business strategy for growth, for profitability, because let's face it, that's what we're all in business for. We're in business to make money. And I think you've missed a trick somewhere. And because of that, I think we'd conflict. So, I'm out. A first blow as strategic differences cause the couple to lose one dragon. And Deborah Meaden looks to have something on her mind too. Can you breed these fish? Have you thought about breeding these fish? Yes, we have thought about breeding these fish, but at present we have not put that into plan. So you buy live fish and they're all live? Yeah. Do you know, tanks and cages make me feel sad. I think you guys are very good and you've come up with a very good business model, but I don't like export trade in live animals at all. Yep. I just, it's not a type of business that I would operate in. I'm out. It's oh, fine. It's okay, fine. Karen, so, you know, I, I don't doubt for one minute that you are two great young entrepreneurs and what you've done, I think, is absolutely wonderful. It's magnificent. So I think you should continue doing what you're doing. But you don't have something that can't be copied. Everybody can copy it. So, I'm not going to invest. I'm out. Two more dragons out, and the investment tide looks to be turning against Toe and Karen. But can high street expert Theo Pafitis see a money-making future in this business? Well, to be honest, I find it very difficult to make a decision. Uh, because you two are good. You qualify, you get a tick in the box. I worry about the barrier to entry. It's not a lot. I then worry about how you move the brand across. Because I'm pretty certain within a short period of time, this market will be congested. And I'll then be relying on how you separate your business from the crowd. When I take all those things into account, I don't quite get to a yes. Mm. OK. OK, that's fine. I'm out. Great, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, Karen, um, you've without question proved your level of aptitude when it comes to looking at a business and trying to make a business work. And I enjoyed it, and I'm sitting here thinking, this is great. One last question that I've got, though. You're in here wearing dirty trainers. Is there a reason for dressing in uh, oil-based yes. jeans? And I, I can explain why. We painted the floor ourselves. We did the sewing ourselves. We have very hands-on people. And with, if need be, we'll get ourselves dirty. That's a really good answer, by the way. Mm. In terms of the business opportunity, I am literally on a balance that close. Um, the 112k that you made, how much of that would you normally have taken as salaries? We take minimum wage. Yeah, but how much realistically would you would you like 
to see yourself taking in the next 12 months? We are going to put most of our money back into investment to realise our strategy of opening more shops. So our current position of taking minimum wage only will hold. Um, does your business have any debt in it? Uh, 63,000. 63? That's the loan um, to support the opening of the Soho venue. So, so Karen, I think it's, it, it, it's just tipping the balance the other way, unfortunately. I don't see how I can make money at 30% of your business. I'm going to say to you, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. The Dragons may have been tempted by the proposal, but none could find a reason to invest their £150,000. Toe and Karen leave with nothing. <laughs>